Hey guys, uh, so I finished Shadow Warrior yesterday and I must say Flying Wild Hog overdone themselves on this one. The game is good, it is really really good, it just oozes style and polish, it basically embraces you in its warm arms giving you everything you desire. Uh, almost everything anyway, because there are some problems with it. Again, wanted to record it all, but playing such a fast paced game at 120 FPS is so much fun, so fuck fraps. Basically, after last week's Rise of the Triad, I decided to play another recent remake of a classic FPS. And uh, despite of the fact that both of them are remakes, they take drastically different approaches to honoring memory of its predecessors. Uh, Rise of the Triad takes a direct approach of staying as faithful to the original as possible, trying to copy the experience, while Shadow Warrior takes the spirit of the original and uh, wraps it up in modern mechanics and approach to game design. And I must say, I prefer Shadow Warrior's mindset, uh, because regardless of how fun and awesome the new Rise of the Triad is, it does not develop the genre in any way, and let's be honest, uh, technology moves forward, uh, so it's pretty stupid to be blinded by nostalgia all the time and ignore years of innovation. So Flying Wild Hawk takes uh, the good old fun of the original Shadow Warrior and modern mechanics to make something new out of it, uh, something unique yet true to the original. But, <laughs> because there is always a but, uh, uh, that better approach is far less safe. Because uh, alongside with techno technological development, the game industry gave birth to a lot of poor design decisions, uh, so the most difficult part in remaking the game is to stay clear from any of this bullshit that modern gaming provides. And Shadow Warrior succeeds doing so, for the most part at least. Uh, but there are still some things that I personally find unnecessary and irritating. My name is Lo Wang. Let's make a deal. First of all, get your difficulties right. I still can't get used to it, especially if it is a remake of an old game. Normal should not be a walk in a park. I died like twice on normal and not because I'm good, but because the game is too easy. Can we agree that normal is when you die a lot if you suck? Uh, hard is for people who have already finished the game once and want a challenge, and insane is for people who cut off their hand and replaced it with a freaking mouse. Anything higher than that is supposed to be so unfair it can only be beaten by like 10 people in the whole world. I know it is hard to get right because it varies from person to person, but Christ, classic shooters manage to nail it somehow. So I guess I'm replaying the game on hard, which is added value I suppose. Second, the game has a slow start. It starts to open up only on chapter 3, which is definitely not in the spirit of the original, which puts you in a room with an enemy right off the bat and you can get a rocket launcher on your first level. Slow start means boredom and boredom is the worst sin of game design. Third, unnecessary RPG elements. <laughs> Honestly, I'm okay with adding magic powers and developing them. Passives were also okay, a bit OP at times, but okay. What really pissed me off is the upgrade system for your guns. All the guns in Shadow Warrior are absolute worthless shit without any upgrades. And only certain, the most expensive upgrades make them useful, otherwise just use your sword. And I got like 70 to 80% of all gold on each level, every time. But I still couldn't afford all the upgrades. I want to use all of my guns, but I ended up using only maybe half of them constantly. And and all the unupgraded guns when I got bored and felt that uh, I'm totally neglecting half of the experience. Third, healing system. In Shadow Warrior 2013, in addition to traditional med packs, you get a healing spell uh, that beats regenerating health any day of the week, I might add. But my only problem is, why the hell does it heal so much? It heals 60% of your health unupgraded and 80% after you put like a couple of points into it. 80% of health is a lot, you don't need med packs if you have 80%. Fuck, 30 and 50 would do, even 50 is kinda too much. But still, thanks god for the lack of regenerating health. Fourth, level design. 
Levels in the remake are way linear than in the original, but still, they're well designed and insanely beautiful at times. However, what pissed me off is the fact that parts of the level get blocked off for no reason at all once you cross some arbitrary barrier, which is usually a door that just closes behind you and you can't go back. This makes hunting for secrets annoying. Sometimes you can't tell where you are supposed to go and where is the off route. So when you choose the main road, the door closes and that's it, you can kiss that secret goodbye. It happened to me maybe twice during my first playthrough, but it was still annoying nonetheless. Fifth, get your bosses right. In case of Shadow Warrior, I mean the final boss in particular, which is supposed to be the most difficult enemy in the game, turned out to be a snore fest. Uh, you see, in the end, your sword emits a shockwave on every attack, which counts as a special attack. With an upgrade that regens your health on every successful special, you become immortal. I just tanked all the boss's attacks, because just spamming the left mouse button was enough to keep me alive. I honestly, I'm not even sure if changing the difficulty will mend that, because the only way for him to kill you is one-shot you. Six. The freaking Angry Birds ranking system. I finished the game and I still have no idea how it works. After each encounter you get bonuses for being violent, but there were times when I almost died just charging in with my sword and I got like 4 stars, while changing weapons and avoiding being hit gave me like 2. A breakdown would be nice, otherwise it's just pointless. <laughs> 7th, cutscenes. Too many of them. <laughs> yes, you can skip them, but uh, one thing kinda pissed me off. There are cutscenes where you sword fight. Just a bit, but isn't all your game is based around fighting and like half of it particularly on sword fighting? It is a game, don't show me what I can be doing on my own, it is an interactive media after all. However, despite of all said above, Shadow Warrior is really, really, really good. I want to start replaying it right away. It is fast, visceral and fun. Sword mechanics are just amazing. Uh, the most surprising of all was the story. It is so, so good. I don't remember if the original even has a story, but the story in the 2013 version is great. Best of all, I didn't expect it to be good at all. <laughs> Flying Wild Hog gets all my respect for this game. It is such a giant step forward from what I saw in Heart Reset. So I can't wait for their next title, but now go and buy Shadow Warrior. <laughs> the name is Grvachar and I shall see you from within my next video. And thanks for watching. Stop the landing. Without us closer to the ground, it's a start. Let's find that goddamn sword.